Hi there! In this video, I will go through a typical 3D design. I'll design a flywheel as an example. By watching this video, you will learn several tips and tricks that will be useful when you design your own parts. Okay, here we go! First, let's choose a material for our flywheel. On the menu, choose Job, Material. Let's choose Aluminum 6061. This is one of the most common materials for machined parts. Click OK. Now we're ready to begin drawing the flywheel. First, let's draw a circle to create the outer shape. Don't worry about the exact size of the circle just yet. Let's suppose we want a 3-inch flywheel. Go to the numeric bar and set the diameter to 3. Now let's adjust the zoom level to make the circle fit the screen by clicking the Zoom to Fit button. Next, let's check that the line type is set to Auto from the Line Type list. You will use the Auto type for most lines that define the shape of your part. We already specified the diameter of the circle, so now we need to specify the Z value. The Z value tells how far out from the screen towards yourself the material should extend. In the Z control, let's enter 0.5 for a half inch. We should now have a disc shape 3 inch in diameter and a half inch thick, something like a hockey puck. Let's see. Let's click the Pyramid button and look at the 3D view. We will look at the 3D view periodically as we design. The overall shape seems correct, 3 inch diameter and a half inch thick. Let's close the 3D view. Next, let's create a hole in the center of the flywheel. Since we want the hole to be at the center of the flywheel, we'll use the Snap feature. On the left toolbar, check that the Snap to Lines button is pressed in. Then draw a small circle at the center of the large circle. And set the diameter on the numeric bar to 0.5. To indicate that this circle is a hole, we go to the Z control and select Air Inside. Let's check the 3D view again. We can rotate the view by dragging the mouse. The flywheel is taking shape. Most flywheels have a heavier rim. To make a rim, we will create a recess on the face. To make the recess, we need two concentric circles. We could draw the circles as before, but we'll use the repeat command to save time. Click the large circle and then the repeat button. Click the nudge right button to make a copy. Now we need to reduce the diameter. Let's use 2.5 inches and nudge back into place. To make this line a recess, we will set Z to minus 0.2. Negative Z values make recesses. Let's take another look at the 3D view. The flywheel continues to take shape. Close the 3D view. Now let's make a center hub. We do this in a similar way that we made the recess, except the Z value will be positive instead of negative. Click the large circle and then the repeat button. Click the nudge right button to make a copy. Let's set the diameter to 1 inch for the hub. and nudge back into place. To make this line a protrusion, we can set Z to plus 0.2. Let's take another look at the 3D view. We can now see the center hub. But notice that the other side of the flywheel is flat. We need to copy the recess and hub to the bottom side. 
Close the 3D view. We will now copy the recess to the bottom view. While holding the control key, select the recess and hub circles. Choose Edit, Copy to copy the two circles to the clipboard. Now choose View, Bottom to switch to the bottom view. We are now viewing the drawing of the bottom side of the flywheel. Choose Edit, Paste to copy the circles to this bottom view. Check the 3D view again and notice that the rim and hub now appear on both sides. Close the 3D view and switch back to the top view. So far, we have made the basic shape of the flywheel. Now let's add lightning holes. We'll put six holes in the recessed area. We'll put the holes at the center of the recessed areas. To do this, we will draw a temporary guideline. Using temporary guidelines is an important technique. Click the Line button and draw the guideline at the snap points. Click the Circle button. Move to the center of the guideline and draw the circle. Set the diameter to 0.5. Now indicate that this circle is a hole by setting Z to Air Inside. The guideline served its purpose, so now we can delete it. Click on the line and the Delete button. Let's check the 3D view. Notice the hole in the recessed area. Close the 3D view. Now let's repeat the lightning hole five more times around the flywheel. We are going to rotate and copy the hole around the center of the flywheel. First, set the rotation nudge value to 60 degrees. Then click the hole to start rotation mode. Drag the center of rotation to the center of the flywheel. Then push in the repeat button and click rotate right button five times. Now let's take a final look at the flywheel in 3D. Our flywheel is complete. Designing 3D parts is quick and easy in eMachine Shop. Please see our other videos for helpful tips and techniques. Thanks for watching.